France, roughly a hexagon shaped country, is located in Western Europe and has a presence in almost all the continents of the world through its overseas territories. France is often referred to as the cultural center of Europe, renowned for its art museums, architectural attractions, scenic vineyards, fashion shows, and much more. Incidentally, the French language is also called the language of love. With a population of 64.7 million and land area of 547,000 square kilometers, France has an average population density of 118 people per square kilometer. Strangely, the distribution of population is quite uneven and localized throughout the France. Most of the French population lives in these regions of metropolitan France and this region is almost empty. This region is so prominent that a separate term has been coined for it, the empty diagonal or diagonale du vide in French. This portion of France is almost one third of its land area. It is a band of low density population stretching from the French department of lands to the Meuse. The diagonal's population density is less than 30 people per square kilometer, whereas cities like Paris, Lyon, Lille, and Toulon has more than 1200 people living per square kilometer. This diagonal of low population density is so apparent that it extends into Spain and Portugal too and is known as the continental diagonal. Let's talk about the France for now. So why is France so empty in the middle? The main reason for this emptiness is associated largely to the rural exodus and urbanization of the 19th and 20th centuries. As the industrial revolution took hold, people started moving away from the countryside and into the larger cities. And there are no large cities in the area represented by the diagonal. As of 2020, 81% of French population is urbanized and the rate of urbanization between 2015 and 2020 was 0.72% per year. But the empty diagonal was not so empty since beginning. Moving back to 1837, Charles Dupin identified an earlier demographic feature, the St. Malo Geneva line that ran from the northwest to the southeast and divided the industrial northeast from the agrarian southwest. People were doing different sort of agricultural activities down south. Even at present, a large part of the diagonal is used for cattle rearing and farming. A significant portion of the diagonal is grassland suitable for cattle grazing. The Industrial Revolution in France started during early 19th century, opening avenues for people to move from agrarian culture to industrialized one by moving to cities. But apart from urbanization, there are other reasons for low population density too. First being the topography of the region. This region contains the Massif Central, which is highland region in south central France, consisting of mountains and plateaus. It covers about 15% of the mainland France. This region contains a large number of extinct volcanoes. The Massif Central is separated from the Alps by deep north-south cleft created by Rhone River. The region was always a barrier to transportation within France until the opening of E75 motorway, which not only made north-south travel easier, but also opened access to Massif itself. Another reason is the distance from ports. France is surrounded by seas and oceans on northwestern, western, and southeastern sides by English Channel, Atlantic, and Mediterranean Sea, respectively. Since France has highlands and mountains, namely the Massif Central, Alps, Pyrenees, Long Plateau, and Limestone Highlands in Outre-Marne, which covers the southern, southeastern, eastern, and northeastern borders of France, leaving only access to ports on Atlantic, Celtic, and English Channel coasts, which are too far away from people living in diagonal. Due to rough terrain, the road and rail network have also been underdeveloped here. Even the regional rail network is sparse here. High speed railway lines connect the selected cities only, and intercity railway lines are also less as compared to the remaining part of the country. Road network, especially the pan national motorway network, is also less dense in the area contained inside the diagonal. Another reason is decline in year on year growth in French population. Post World War II, the year on year population data since 1950s shows the decline in annual growth rate of French population, which, when statistically extrapolated, leads to negative population growth 2042 onwards. The decline in population growth along with increased urbanization led to people moving towards cities for better opportunities. So these are all the reasons for few people living in the center of France. I hope that you have liked today's episode. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Till then, take care.